24 year old. Uh, he was drafted in the 10th round, number 296 overall out of Florida Southern, Mr. Vaughn Brown. This is somebody that I have watched quite a bit. He does not disappoint in any place, but let's run through it. Mr. Vaughn Brown. So in 2021, when he was drafted, they sent him to the rookie affiliate, which is appropriate. Um, not an aggressive assignment at all because he, he, he was a 23 year old already, but let's get his feet wet. He was a 10th rounder. Let's see what he can do. He had 79 at bats, batted 354, had an on base percentage of 480, slug 620, two home runs, eight stolen bases, strikeout. 29 times hit 28 times. Once again, it's rookie ball. It's only 78 at bats, but obviously the average is there. So let's dive into some meaningful stats. Obviously they promoted him, promoted him to single a ball. He had 228 at bats. He batted 346, an on base percentage of 427, slugging 636. He hit 14 home runs, had 23 stolen bases. Strikeouts were in a great spot at 67. Walks were at 25. He, he, he stuffed it. He, he stuffed every stat that you could possibly imagine as a 24-year-old in sing, single A ball. So obviously, we're going to promote him again to, to high A. Uh, had 157 at bats. He batted 350 on base, on base percentage 454, slug 611. So all the way down the list, it's the same stats. We're not afraid of anything. Still had nine home runs, added another 21 stolen bases. So in 2022, he had 44 stolen bases and 23 home runs while carrying a 346 average. A yeah. little bit older for what we consider to be in the right age group of what we like, but he, he's just working his way through the affiliates. He did get promoted to double A, but he only had two at-bats. So it was at the very end of the year, you know, nothing to speak of there. What do you think, Ross? Uh, what's what's your take here? Well, a little bit older is yeah. the understatement of the year. <laughs> He's well, like twenty four yeah. in the in the starting the year at single A. That's old. There's two paths for this guy because, like, I'm looking at these numbers. I I just want to detail this just a little bit more. Okay, this guy was a five year player at Florida Southern, not a particularly big school to begin with. His freshman year, he hit 250, sophomore, 252. The next year, 274. The 2020 season, 286. None of those numbers for a college player are notable at all. Then suddenly, as a 23-year-old, his fifth year, a fifth-year senior, he hit 387 with a 462 OBP and a 793 slugging percentage at college. What happened? And then all of a sudden he comes into the minor leagues and he's just a masher. He has been ever since he's joined and very consistently. So yep. a 350 hitter, a guy that doesn't walk very much, but he hits bombs and he steals a ton of bases so to me, something happened. And I, I, I can't really tell you what changed, but all of a sudden this guy became a burgeoning fantasy superstar. And I'm here to tell you right now, I still don't buy it. Yeah. Because either this guy is breaking all models, one of two paths. He's breaking all models because he's going to have this giantly successful career despite all of the red flags being too old, striking out too much, not having much plate discipline, or he's going to be a fantasy superstar and he's going to, 
you know, surprise everybody. And that's a possibility too. Yeah. I yeah. have them ranked much lower as a result of I'm not, I'm not buying it. But I, I have a, wish him all the luck and I hope he does. I hope he smashes it. I also I have a guy him. that has Von Brown on your fantasy team when he is wrecking the league, suddenly batting 350 and stealing all these bases that nobody can seem to understand where this guy came from. I really hope that that's the case because Scott, the stat line's pointing this out, but I'm, I'm personally, I'm not, I'm not buying it. I cannot think of another comp like this at all, really. And oddly scout the stat line for the player comp on Von Brown is Ricky Weeks, who was very different coming out of college. He came out of yeah, college superstar with very high expectations. Yeah. This guy is going to be awesome. He failed to live up to those expectations. So, I mean, if they're ta- saying a guy that had no expectations is going to be a Ricky, Ricky Weeks caliber player, I'm all on board for it. Actually, if that's what his career is, I'm stoked for Von Brown because that's a super successful career yeah. for a guy that nobody thought was going to be anything. And as I'm looking through it, like that seems, it seems plausible to me. Yeah. Minus the timeline, Rick, Ricky Weeks was up in the major leagues, you know, much earlier than Von Brown will be. But if he has that kind of a career, yeah. you guys smashed it. Yeah. yeah. Von Brown, guys, uh, um, this is one of those guys that I want you to go get. And, and this shouldn't cost you much at all. To be this guy's uh, not uh, sniffing top prospect lists anyway. Yeah, yeah, a thousand percent should not cost much to go get. So you can store him and just wait to 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 reap the benefits. Yep. Um, when I think he's going to be very decent. Like I said, if he pulls a Ricky Weeks career, which I think is possible, I'm always oh, aiming man. for like these superstar level careers but that's a pretty decent career and you get him for peanuts come on yeah, yeah. what do you for sure Vaughn brown Killers. if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and of course visit our website scout the for more